Welcome back to another episode of Best Bros. And today, guys, it is actually my first day of college, so it's kind of a bummer. I don't really feel like going back to school. It's been a long time since I've actually been in person with school, so this is going to be a lot different of an experience, but we'll see how it goes, and you guys are going to come along for the journey. I'm also going to be fishing today at my campus because actually there's like a creek that runs through my campus, so in between classes, I'm going to go. I'm going to go fish those creeks, of course, because I have to. Why would I not fish those creeks? Anyways, I'm about to hit the gym right now. It's like 6 a.m. And I'm going to hit the gym before class. So let's go. Yeah, I forgot to vlog while I was working out. I don't really know why, but I just didn't video the workouts. But the, anyways, who cares anyways? But the protein shake that I made in the last vlog, I'm going to add some vanilla extract in it this time to see if it makes it taste like better. I don't know. I'm just going to try it. Let's see, because I'm a major chef. Can't really taste it that much, but I don't really feel like putting more on there. So I'm just going to call it good. Well, I'm thinking this breakfast looks pretty good today, so I'm gonna get in here and just start smashing this because I am hungry. Yo, guys, I don't know what this backpack is, but I know it's not my fishing backpack, so that doesn't get me excited at all. Well, now I got back from the first class. I mean, it went all right. It wasn't terrible, but you know, just the whole school thing is not the most exciting thing in the world to me. Anyways, I'm now back at home. Gonna eat a quick lunch before I have to go to my next class at one. And then after that class is when I'm gonna go fishing before my next class at night. I have like 10 hours worth of lectures this day, and it sucks, but I literally the four classes that I needed to take, this was the only option to have Tuesday 10 hours of lecture, and then like Wednesday and Thursday I have like one, two, three hour class, so overall, not a terrible schedule, a lot of time to go fishing, so I'm going to go fishing in between the next, in between my next class, so you guys stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys at the creek. Well guys, it's finally the part of the day that I get to enjoy myself at the nice creek back here, which is like the back of the campus and catch some good old creek fish. I'm sure you guys, some of you guys probably recognize the spot because I've been here before. So I'm gonna enjoy myself and catch some little fish and yeah, have a great time. There we go, got him. Yep, he's pulling hard. Ooh, that's actually not a bad one right there, guys. Let's go. The orange on this guy is amazing. Like, look at that. Just that orange on him is so pretty right there. That is a beautiful looking fish. Like. Jeez, I've never seen a more colorful pumpkin seed than this guy. All right, I really appreciate the bite, my guy, and have a great day. He's running with it, and we set the hook, but we don't get him. All right, I'm having trouble hooking these fish, so I think I have a bit too big of a hook. Surprising, because this is a tiny hook, but I'm sure I have some sm smaller ones in there that I can use and actually hook these fish. All right, and now I've put on a smaller hook and a smaller bait and hoping that that allows me to hook these fish. I'm really sorry about the audio again, because this freeway back here is just very obnoxious. There we go, got him. Yes, sir. Boom. What a nice looking bluegill right here, folks. Oh, he swallowed it. I gotta get my pliers. Just look at that, a nice tiny little bluegill. Gotta love micro fishing. All right, see you later, bud. The weightless presentation is definitely a lot better, but it's harder to cast, but that's a sacrifice I'm gonna have to make. Oh, he crushed it. Yep, he already crushed it. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. See that little weightless presentation just floats down very subtly, and these guys absolutely fall for it every single time. Just went back to back on little bluegill, like, oh, the rib. Just gotta love these nice little bluegill. Look at that little guy. So cute. And there he goes. Wait a minute. Is that a bass? I think I see a bass in there. Come on, bite it, little guy. Yep, there it is. Got him. Sheesh, finally, hooked another little guy. These are like absolutely perfect bait, bait size bluegill. I mean, maybe a little bit smaller, but you know, it could work. Like, look at how small those guys are. Just, you're like, dude, really, what are you doing? You're helping the cause for nobody. But anyways, I guess you can go free. Oh, someone's running with it. Yep, there it is. I got him, I got the bass. No way, oh wait, that's not a bass. That is just the biggest creek chub I've ever seen. <laughs> what in the world, guys? I literally thought that was a bass in there, but it was not a bass. It's a creek chub. Like, look at that guy. That is a massive creek chub. I mean, I can see how in the water I thought it was a bass because they do still have that like same sort of lateral line, if you will. But, jeez, that's a big creek chub. What the heck? 
Like, this guy is absolutely massive for a creek chub. That is insane. I literally thought it was a bass. That is hilarious. I appreciate your bite, my guy. And you have a great day. I can't believe it, guys. Like, I was just catching a bunch of, like, tiny little bluegills. And to catch that big of a creek chub is pretty dope. So, like, there is bass, like, further down in that pond over there. So, that's why I kind of thought it was a bass. Which, that would have been cool if I caught a bass. But if I fished that pond, I would definitely catch bass. On second thought, I probably shouldn't have wore a black shirt today. Because I am sweating so much from the sun. Like, sheesh. I don't know where the fish are either. They, they just decided to leave. I, I caught the big one. They're like, all right, you did it. You caught the biggest one here go home now but i'm not leaving just yet my guys i'm trying to catch as much as i can oh my gosh what the heck that was a big fish just struck at it it was probably another creek chub but sheesh i missed him i didn't pin him so he might bite again oh he crushed it he absolutely smoked it i saw my bait and then literally a second later just gone another just beautiful looking pumpkin seed right there those colors on these guys are just magnificent they are very very vibrant i must say very beautiful looking fish you gotta love coming out here and micro fishing it's just so much fun i appreciate the bite my guy see you later buddy all right i'm gonna try to explore a little bit and find some new spots because this bridge has definitely slowed down a lot made it here to spot number two and it's looking pretty nice although the water level is very very low right now so that's probably why the first spot did not produce as many fish so I'm hoping this spot still produces some fish because it usually produces a little bit less so I don't know just gonna get in there and let's catch some fish oh there's fish yep yes sir spot number two produced a nice little gale he literally ate that for like a second and it's just completely gone like holy crap he was not messing around with this guys I'm gonna let him go though he's kind of bleeding but i got the hook out very smoothly so i hope he'll be okay oh there's bite yep there it is got him boom bluegill number two at spot number two bluegill number a lot in the day though so look at that just a tiny little guy right there sheesh they're beautiful looking fish though that's for sure thanks bud and see you later i am telling you guys this four pound ice fishing line is stronger than literally 50 pound braid. I'm not even lying. Like I can't break it. I'm about to cut my fingers off. Oh, there it is. Got him. I knew it. Oh my gosh. Why is he feeling drag? That's a big bluegill or a pumpkin seed. My bad. Oh, there he goes. Chill, my guy. That is a big pumpkin seed. What in the world, my guys? Sheesh. That's definitely my biggest pumpkin seed of the day. I really do appreciate the bite, my guy. See you later, buddy. And yeah, I deserve every bit of snag I get there. I only flipped it straight into a tree. Like, I don't even know what I was attempting to do. But whatever I did, it did not work. So guys, last time I fished the pond, I caught all the bass on this little rooster tail. And I think I may want to go over there and fish it again. Like, try to stay discreet with it and, s and make sure no one sees me. But like, we're going to tie this on real quick and try to just catch one bass over there and hopefully no one gets mad at me or something or hopefully I just don't get like kicked out of the college right now but you know both are very possible but that's okay we'll do it I'm doing it for you guys so you better smash the thumbs up okay like I, I don't know if the bass are like very up shallow right now because like I said it's very hot so they might be in deeper waters which I can't reach so I don't know if I'll catch one but we're gonna keep trying. I'm about to stop fishing once my GoPro dies. So I got like 5% left until I can catch a fish. Well, unfortunately my GoPro died here and I wasn't able to catch a bass in this pond. But yeah, now I have to go get ready for my next class in like about an hour or so. I don't know when it is, I don't even know when it is. It doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm just gonna end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's little vlog type deal. I caught some fish, hope you enjoyed that. Although there wasn't as much fish in the creeks as I would have hoped. And again, I didn't catch a bass, so that was also pretty uh, pretty upsetting, but that's all right. If you guys wanna see more vlogs while I'm doing college things, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, stay tuned. Until next time, on Bass Bros.